Hey, what's going on? It's Ryan. Uh, thank you for checking out another video. I am still here in Arizona. I'm actually filming this on my friend's uh, beautiful house uh, here in Chandler, Arizona. But I want to talk today about some photos I took on uh, my first two rolls ever of Portra 400 NC. Now the NC means neutral color. This is actually an expired film stock. They don't make Portra 400 NC anymore. They also had VC, which was for vibrant color, um, but they discontinued them and merged the two into what we know now as just Portra 400. My good friend who lives here, Sherry, she is also a photographer and she had two expired rolls left over and she actually let me use them, which I was super pumped about. So in this video, we're going to take a look at this beautiful film stock and what it could do. So I wanted to do something really awesome for that. And since we're in Arizona, Arizona has a lot of what? Cactuses. So we went to Saguaro National Park, which is down near Tucson, which is about two hours from here. And we walked around Saguaro National Park, which has just a ton of cactuses on the property and we literally just drove around this eight mile loop that just took us through the park. So it was, it was an overcast day, so these photos um, are a little dark. Uh, I tried my best to compensate it with the light meter that's in my Pentax 6-7, but it was a little dark. So these first couple of photos are when we just, you know, I was really shooting them off pretty, pretty hard. Uh, but we came to this one area that had some really beautiful like overlooks into the whole valley and then also just some cactuses set up on the side of the road. And uh, these are actually some of the first photos I took with it. And you can see the NC really shows true. It's a very neutral color. I mean, this is Arizona. There's a lot of browns, a lot of darker tones. And it was also overcast that day. So you can kind of see in these photos that it's still neutral, but I mean, they just look incredible. And I was so pumped to take these photos. We kept driving around the park, just looking for things to take photos of. And uh, we came across a couple of like cactuses that had these really, uh, had like really good framed up shots. You know, always looking for natural frames in nature. I was able to get like this photo right here. This was one of my favorite photos I took of the day. But the thing about Portra is, I mean, we all know how good Portra is with skin tones and colors like that. The reason I was really pumped about this NC is because here, like I said, in Arizona, it's a lot of browns, it's a lot of muted colors. So I figured this was just gonna come out looking really desaturated, that really pastel look that I love looking for. It basically did that. So we continue to walk around and drive around. and just really enjoy the day. I mean, it was a, it's a beautiful park. And uh, here's a couple more photos I took with it that I think really came out really good and again, really show the, the strength of this film.
And another thing to note about this is this film is expired. I think it expired in 2009. So there was some time in between when I shot it to when it expired. So you can kind of see there's a little bit of like a blue hue and also that it's a little dark. That's because the film has expired. As film expires, you know, the, the chemicals expire. It can affect the color. It can affect the brightness. And you can see that in these photos, but they still come out really good. And it just shows this beautiful Arizona landscape and these amazing cactuses. So those are the last couple of ones. My final thoughts on the Portra 400 NC is like, first of all, I'm a big fan of nostalgia. It's one of the reasons I got into film photography. But the, good, the great thing about this and the thing I like about it is, Portra 400 now is a fantastic film stock for skin, for portraits, even landscapes. It gives you that nice pastel color. But I'm, I wish I would have been shooting more when the NC and the VC were out because the NC really lets you do that neutral color kind of scheme where it's nice and flat and nice and pastel, where then they have the vibrant color, which is a more vibrant one, but still has the portrait qualities of being able to handle overexposure and everything like that. So I understand they wanted to combine it to make it the best for consumers, but I wish they were still making NC and VC. Now that's not to say you can't find it on eBay, but you're gonna pay a couple of bucks for it. I saw about five for about 60 bucks. So, and you also have to worry, you know, these are expired films. You can never know what they're like. Uh, just like in my last video, we can check out up here, um, the Polaroid film over time, even though it's cold stored, the colors and the chemicals get a little degraded. So just remember that. But I would highly recommend going out and checking it out and see if you can get your hand out at least one roll to shoot. It, the packaging alone is just adorable and retro and stuff and I loved it. But it's a great film stock. I had a lot of fun shooting it. It was so exciting. Thank you again, Sherry, for letting me use your film stock. And uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the photos. If you do, please leave a comment, like, subscribe. Remember to just shoot and I'll see you in the next one. I'll still be in Arizona for like another week or two, so there's more videos. Mm -hmm.